and welcome to the 72 Pin Connector Podcast, the only podcast where you can join the conversation and the game. Uh, we're going to be playing Rocket League as usual. Um, with us this week, we have Tom. I'm here and totally didn't lose my mute button. I totally promise. not muted, Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally not muted, Tom. And we have another guest, Magic Dave again. He's back. It's me again. I'm back again. Ready Eric was unable to make it for reasons I actually don't know. I don't. I don't remember what he's doing. I just remember him pretty telling sure us he's he'd be busy this week. Probably. Pretty, Sounds like something pretty sure it's do. Bank robber. Yeah. <laughs> bank robber Irk. A known phenomenon. Mm -hmm. All right. Should we get into the games, fellas? Let's do it. I love games. Three. Yes. If you would like to join the games, you can. Hopefully, if there's a slot open when we queue after the, the first game, you can join us. If you'd like, just snipe us on Steam or whatever. If you need those Steam ads, let us know. So how was your guys' this week? Pretty pretty good. And this is making it all the better. Uh, so this, this very shiny drink, I'm just going to explain it. I call it the orange and tonic. And it is very orangey. So, of course, you got that orange slice. <laughs> You got some triple sex, some gin, some tonic, some Lord. orange bitters. Nice. The whole thing is just like this, this beautiful, crisp, amazing, uh, orangey thing. <laughs> I can't even explain it. Like it's, it's like if you took a nice gin and tonic, but somebody with a sack of oranges punched you in the face. <laughs> that's what it tastes like. <laughs> it sounds very never, orangey, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I've I've never had a gin and tonic, but I. Of all fruits, like or fruit flavored stuff, I love orange. So that sounds tasty. Yeah. As far as that goes. Dude, I've had a great week because I'm done with work for eight weeks, dude. Oh my god. Nice. This week, dude. That's so much time. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna play a lot of Rocket League, man. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I should congratulate you or say I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the situation is there, but hopefully that's a good <laughs> A good oh, eight-week vacation. Breaks. I'm in the education, oh. right? Here. Oh, so, right. Uh, okay. So I get summer break just starting. Very exciting. It's amazing. Nice. I'm jealous. That's honestly the best <laughs> reason to work for a school system mm -hmm. is because you get summer break. That's the only reason that you should do it, though. All right. <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> That's it. That's oh, it. shit. I'm bad. I didn't hit that pass. I feel like you have to sort of like kids or at least be able to tolerate kids to have a job in that system, too. That's true. And I don't, so I need some <laughs> summer off to deal with that. <laughs> Take an entire summer to just decompress. Yeah. I feel you. I think I'd, I'd be the same way. <laughs> yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with kids. If any of you are parents out there oh the Except parents are, worse. are just kids. hold up dude not the, the parents not, worse <laughs> yeah the parents yeah. are way worse dude. <laughs> all offense on the parents dude. all offense <laughs> offense intended <laughs> idiots <laughs> i uh i actually know a lot of educators and they all say the same thing like mm -hmm. the kids yeah they're awful but the parents oh man it's like the second coming of hitler <laughs> what do you <laughs> mean he failed <laughs> <laughs> he, what what no no he Why must have turned he told me he turned in the work what he didn't no nah, he did you just you just lost it so why is I'm my kid on the bench it. why is my kid on the know. bench he should always be playing constantly regardless of his <laughs> performance mine's uh i work on like the it side of it right dude so i have parents email me like can you block my son's girlfriend from being able to message him on Google Hangouts? <laughs> like, oh, no. Yeah, that, that's a real. I've gotten that question like three times this past year. Oh, my God. Like, my great little Johnny, he's wasting all his time on this little Susan in the corner, dude. Like, hey, that's not my jurisdiction, pal. <laughs> yeah. Let's stay out of it. So uh, college, college was weird because I worked for a college help desk for a good long while. And uh, because these people are legally adults, you can't give their information out to anyone. And we oh, got yeah. calls from parents, like even even though this was the IT help desk, <laughs> we got calls all the time from parents saying, hey, can you send me 
Bill's grades. Yeah, my uh, my name is Bill. Like clearly, it's a sixty five year old man. Like you can clearly yeah. fucking tell. I'm I'm Billy. Could you send my grades? <laughs> my answer, always under suspicion, was sure. You just got to bring your student ID down to the center, and uh, we'll get you hooked up. <laughs> oh, but I don't have it. Oh, well, you can get a replacement student ID from the badging office. <laughs> But they got so fucking pissed because oh, they're like, no, no, I'm the parent. I deserve to see these grades. I'm paying for this college. Yeah, but they're also fucking adults, man. You got to <laughs> talk to them. I can't yeah. give you this. I'll get fired. It's called legal issues. <laughs> and I don't want to be a part of them. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah. So what have you guys been up to? Uh, uh, working, I guess. It's been kind of a, a low-key week. Nothing, nothing bad or good happened all week. It's just been kind of one of those weeks where it's just... <laughs> you made it through, yeah. Adam. Yeah, made it through. Made it through another week. Made, made it to another through, podcast. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to be here. This is good. This is the, this nice. is the most notable thing I've done all week. <laughs> other than some video games but we'll get to that later because we usually don't get to that right away and i don't want to get to that right away you know i gotta say though like having having a boring nothing happened kind of week sounds mm. fucking magical in the land <laughs> yeah. of here of 2020 yeah. yeah i say that i don't say that as like complaining <laughs> or or whatever like it's definitely a, a no news is good news kind of situation <laughs> <laughs> yeah like everything is pretty much fine and i'm okay with that <laughs> i take it your week that is, is great. your i take it work has been just on fire lately for you <sighs> yeah it's been it's been busy um but with nothing bad like i mm. uh i'm a programmer i've been launching some features doing some work uh, and there's been a couple late nights just because i like i really want to finish this one thing i'm working on which i can't really talk about uh -huh. um and it just, it took way longer than it should have. Um, but hey, I got it done. I actually launched it Friday evening, like at right. about 5 p.m. on a Friday, which is great. Hey. Uh, and walked away. Yeah, that's it. Like, it was done. I was actually yeah. planning on working this weekend on this thing if I couldn't get ahead of it. But I had a super productive two days where I actually got a shit ton of stuff done in a really small amount of time. So I'm good, man. I'm here just enjoying the weekend. Oh, Fantastic. It's been great. Looks like we got our first snipe, dude. Oh, we got our first snipe. Oh, Chewy. Oh, we got Chewy in here. <laughs> Chewy's reserved. I hope he makes it in the lobby. Oh. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Rocket League, <laughs> please. Oh. oh, he got kicked. <laughs> Son of a game please. crash. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, that oh, sucks. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> Hopefully he can get back in here. I was going to say, try again next game, because we, we will absolutely be here still. Unless it's going to be a super short cast, which I don't think it will be. There's a lot of news to talk It won't be that. It won't be that short. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, so, all right, guys. We got a... <laughs> Does that count as a high five, Adam? I think, that counts uh, I think as that's a high, a high five. five. Yeah. Okay. At least in my book. Even though I bumped you right before the goal? That's a high five. High five, buddy. Um, so there's this place, and I believe it's a chain, but there's this place called Dozone that's in our, our delivery range. Have you guys ever had soup dumplings? Yes. No, Dim but they, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. I haven't had them, but I've, I know of them and I would like to try them. Oh my God. It's like, <laughs> I'm trying to find the goddamn words. It's quite literally like chicken dumpling chicken noodle soup wrapped up in like a wonton wrapper mm -hmm. and when you bite into it it's quite literally just a mouthful of the most delicious chicken soup you've ever had yeah it's basically soup gushers right soup yeah yeah gushers. soup gushers is the best way to put that <laughs> hot soup holy gushers. shit hot <laughs> soup gushers which God damn, honestly, right. those three words together are kind of gross, but like, <laughs> it, it does it does kind of describe the the food itself. <laughs> Hot no, I'd like gushers. to try those. Yeah, I'm I need, into it. I, I need to find a place around here that that makes them. 
Because I, I remember seeing videos um, online about it and stuff, but I've not actually had They're it. incredible. And uh, even beyond that, we got steamed bun. So there's like this delicious, like, spiced oh. pork filling in a kind of sticky but sweet white bread kind of roll oh, thing. Oh, i had yeah. those. Those are so oh, good. It's so damn good. So hold up. You got the custard ones, dude? We're talking about the sweet pork ones. No, we're talking Make about your... the sweet pork ones. Oh, have you ever had a custard one, dude? I have not. They just dump a whole shitload of custard inside of there instead of the pork, Dean. Oh, like a dessert? That sounds nice. amazing. It's it's the what's up. I used to eat those things for dessert all the time. I've got a bamboo steamer. Like, I eat, there's a, uh, Hot a grocery store near me, like an Asian grocery, like supermarket. I just bought a bunch of like dim sum stuff with. It's so good. So you just have the pork ones nice. for dinner and then you have the custard ones for dessert? Yeah. Just can keep the train going? I kind of just did. Do they make the bacon and eggs once for breakfast? <laughs> so, uh, just just to let you guys know, and in full transparency about the state of my weight and health, um, <laughs> gone. Dude. We we might have ordered Dozone twice in a row. Like we got it for dinner one night, and then we got it for lunch the next day. I <laughs> mean, and I ate all of it. Nice man. It was so I'm fucking. I'm not disappointed in you, Tom. That sounds like something I would do, too. <laughs> I mean, sometimes something is just so good, you, you got to have it again. Yeah. Now, I will say there was one food mistake that was total A fat assery, mistake. and I will never make this mistake again. I, I was hungry. I was starving. So I got, oh, a Chipotle, I got Chipotle, and then we drove nice. past a Wendy's, and Renee was just going to get just Wendy's. And I got a Baconator, and I mm. ate them both. Nice. <laughs> I had a Chipotle burrito and then a Baconator. You know that feeling you get after Thanksgiving where everything food. just physically hurts? The food coma. Yeah, it was that. It wasn't even coma, though. Like, I was in pain. Oh, no. It was That's delicious. Kind of lockdown for me as a fool, dude. I'm going to be real, dude. The, the COVID-15 <laughs> or whatever people are calling it, dude. I might... It's probably more than 15 at this point. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, I've put on 20 pounds. Yeah. No it's lie. Crazy. I don't even want to so, know, man. <laughs> yeah. Chew, was... Chewy, call, Chewy called out in the chat. It's okay. Beat Saber makes up for it. Oh. Yeah, man. I have been doing a fuck ton of Beat Saber. Man. Trying to get rid of the COVID 20 that I put on. Smart, man. That's a good way to do it. It's yeah, a like, good game for people, that, I think. Um, Just watching you play it makes me sweat a little bit. Dude, yeah. Like, people people are like, oh, video games for a workout? I mean, I guess that's okay. And they're thinking of, like, we Fit and shit. Nah, man, nah. <laughs> Beat Saber is actually a goddamn workout. It is full-on cardio. My watch, while I'm playing Beat Saber, will interrupt me and say, hey, did you forget to push the start workout button? It looks like you're going for a run. <laughs> Yeah, I did forget to push the start workout button. Thank you, watch. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been fun. Dobby says I've been wanting Ring Fit Adventures. Oh, I have that, man. It's fun. It's hard to find apparently. It's like all rare and stuff. What is it? Wait, wait, Nintendo put out a hardware product that they didn't make enough of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, it ain't so. Yo, Dobby, hold up. <clears throat> oh, never mind, dude. Don't look in there. We're Don't closing what? the store, dude. We're closing what? the store, dude. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> There's a ring fit adventure in that closet. Okay. Somewhere, dude. Somewhere. Do you open Whoa, the chaos? Uh, oh, speaking of fat, dude, I got this giant ass cake pop just sitting on my desk. I gotta Ooh, eat it at some point. Looks this tasty. Thing, I can't wait, dude. There's another one in the fridge, too. Don't worry about it. And then I'm on my third Bud Light, dude. That's the smell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my first orange and tonic. There will be more. Don't worry. <laughs> I just have uh, got some tea. Licorice spice. Very tasty. Nice. Actually, nice. Uh, I was making this right before the cast. And I like I, I have a bunch of teas like up on a shelf. And I kind of have a problem. But I went to grab the licorice spice tea. I started to pull the bag out, and I almost ripped the bag open, 
or the uh -oh. you know oh. the paper open and i realized i had like a sleepy time tea i accidentally grabbed instead of the the one i meant to grab and i was like oh that wouldn't be very good for before the podcast <laughs> 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 that's the last thing i need is to be falling asleep during the podcast so no i had to switch that out but licorice spice it's very very good it's got a little bit of the the black licor black licorice flavor with like some orange zest and some other stuff cinnamon i think it's nice you know i gotta say like i absolutely hate black licorice loathe the stuff but black licorice tea it's pretty it's good different. And yeah, it's different i don't know why i i don't know what it is like because it's definitely got the same types of flavors it's just not mm -hmm. as like horrifying to me. is it sweeter i don't know or maybe not. yeah it's, i don't mm. maybe less intense there's something about it because <laughs> i know exactly yeah. what you mean because i oh. tried <laughs> <laughs> magic tape, yeah, so some kind of goal here <laughs> what what was this let's let's look at the replay you know it's just oh. every day alive, yeah. you know yeah that's that's his rocket league that's his thing that's his rock <laughs> <laughs> these things have been known to happen but no um i hated licorice for a long time but i did like licorice tea but over i know i don't know what it was but like the last year or so i've actually developed a taste for black licorice i like it oh really huh so it all started we had uh when timotheus used to be around here i was at a international market uh, Jungle Gyms, if you're from Ohio, you're probably familiar with Jungle Gyms. They've got just stuff from everywhere, all over the, all over the world. They've got whole aisles Massive for separate international countries, right? Market. Like, there are two or three aisles of Japanese food, and then, like, right. an aisle or two of Chinese food, and then, like, a section of an aisle for Taiwanese food. Like, it, it literally goes that deep. There's, you know, from Greece, Ireland, Scotland, India... <laughs> Sri Lanka, wherever, like there's just, there's something for just about, I don't want to say every country, but there's a lot of, a lot of representation there. Uh, but anyways, he's from the Netherlands. I'm like, all right, so what are some things I need to try that are popular in Netherlands that I can't get here? And he said, I don't remember what the, what it's called in Dutch, but it's basically salted black licorice. And I Ooh. was like, I don't like wow. black licorice. That sounds absolutely awful. And I got one. And it was absolutely awful. It was like the worst thing I'd ever tasted. <laughs> but for some reason, I would like try another one just to be sure, like a few days later. And then like a week later, I'd try another one. And somehow I developed a taste for it. And I actually <laughs> like salted black licorice. <laughs> and now after that, I like unsalted black licorice i don't know what happened it was weird i've never had something that is i've never so had something strange. that i've disliked as strongly as that that i now like i've never had Great. a food that would have like that big of a difference between extremes it makes no sense that oh. uh it reminds me i told a buddy of mine that i hated brussels sprouts and mm -hmm. he was making them like during during a barbecue. It's like, nah, man, I've got like bacon grease in here and like bacon chunks. And if you don't like him after this, then I don't, I don't even know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and I I still didn't like them. Uh, like even even with bacon, like they were more tolerable, but it yeah, it wasn't great. I mean, sometimes there's just that thing that you'll never like, or maybe you yeah. will. Maybe maybe here in five or ten years, you'd be like, Brussels sprouts are amazing. <laughs> And like I'm, I am not a, a vegetable hater. Like broccoli is one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, like give me, give me some just plain old fucking cauliflower with a little bit of salt. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, but Brussels sprouts could never get into them. That and asparagus. Like asparagus is fine. Oh, I'll have it occasionally, but it's not. It's not something I seek out. I would rather have broccoli. Broccoli is top tier for sure. Yeah. Especially like in nope. General So's chicken or something where you get that sauce mm. with the broccoli that's yeah. not all like quite all the way cooked where it's still got a little bit of crunch, but it's still, you know, most of the way cooked. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. But I think your your feelings Gabby, on Brussels sprouts. Favorite vegetables? Is that is that Brussels sprouts or uh or broccoli? 
Asparagus and Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I was going to say, those are <laughs> like oh some my of God. my favorites too. <laughs> but I could see, like, those are two that I could understand people not liking though. Mm. Like, I totally get it. I just don't agree. I just don't agree. <laughs> Dave, where do you stand I, I on Brussels sprouts? <laughs> but you're wrong. Yeah, we I need don't to know. do. I eat cake pops and beer, dude. I don't know what, a is. <laughs> what do you mean? Hell yeah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> hey, right. uh, a Brussels sprout is like an all natural cake pop. Wait a minute. Yeah, no. Mm, no. It's made of green stuff. It's made of green stuff. I don't stuff. know if I agree with that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nature's roughly cake pop. the same shape, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here looking how much I can sell my Ring Fit Adventure used for now. Because apparently it's crazy, dude. You guys are talking about vegetables. I'm getting rid of my stuff. The extra set. <laughs> oh, Dobby says Ring Fit is sitting around $150 used. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Nuts. What am I man. doing with it, man? I don't need it. Sell it. <laughs> I don't need it. Ugh. How much beer and cake pops can you buy with $150? Yeah, that's a great question. That's one big <laughs> wall battle, dude. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so should we get into some game talk is it time yeah so i've been playing some beat saber yeah, yeah. um yeah, and, you... and unfortunately i have had to stop clipping and highlighting all of my beat saber adventures uh yeah the whole dmca thing yeah so twitch is now like it's always been this way like if if they detect copyrighted music in your in your clips, they'll just mute the audio. But now they're actually letting the RIAA and other other publishers uh, basically take down channels for infringement, uh, which is which is really shitty. Um, and the thing that they called out specifically is, hey, watch your clips and highlights because people can find those. So like if you're live and you're gonna get prosecuted, people actually have to actively do that, right? But mm. if you highlight and clip and that stuff stays around for a while, you can be an even hotter. Winner. So I have absolutely stopped, um, you know, clipping and highlighting Beat Saber. And as a matter of fact, I might actually stop streaming Beat Saber on Twitch entirely uh, due to all of this bullshit, which, you know, sucks, sucks. for uh, it, it sucks for Twitch. I feel like my content's pretty decent. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if they're going to threaten my channel over it, then uh, fuck them. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. What's I mean, to all the host kids? How do you stop followers from clipping? You can't. That's you the can't. issue. That's yeah. Right? You delete the VOD afterwards to get rid of yeah. all the clips. Mm -hmm. And I I, I mean, might <laughs> you're about to go clip everyone. I, I might <laughs> just honestly say fuck Twitch entirely for Beat Saber streaming. I figured out a nice solution today. Um where Yeah, make it <laughs> make uh, more work for a Twitch <laughs> channel. Yeah, Dobby, that's it's exactly what could happen. So I might um, just start streaming on Discord. Now, the reason I haven't been is because you don't get the TomCam. But I figured out a nice way with uh, OBS Studio, and there's a virtual cam plugin, to actually get like a Twitch feed inside of Discord, which looks really, really good and works fairly well. It's a little choppier than Twitch, but not bad. Yeah, I've been using that to stream. That well, when I was streaming baseball on Twitch, dude, that's what I was doing. Or on mm. our Discord, it's mm. that virtual plugin, man. It it works great. Discord streaming can be fun. It's like it's low key inner circle Twitch streaming, kind of like yeah. It reminds friends me of can like, pop in and watch still. And I try to like I love for some reason I still like every Sunday morning when I wake up and play video games. Like I'm eight years old. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Hell yeah. streaming whatever I'm doing in Discord's like hanging out at my friend's house, dude. 9 a.m. We're playing Sonic yeah. Adventure Battle on the GameCube, dude. Chilling out. Yeah, damn right. It absolutely has that vibe to it. It's it's yeah. it's cool. It's fun. Uh, Dobby asked, "What's YouTube's rules look like for music and copyright?" Uh, actually, worse. Uh, yeah. and thank you, Iris, <laughs> for for redeeming hydrate. Hey, everybody, hydrate. Stay hydrated out there. There All we right, go. Dude. Bud Light. Gotta get that like, delicious water. <laughs> delicious <laughs> water slash Bud Light. Yeah, YouTube's copyright situation is actually even worse. Um, because not only do you get all the same strikes, uh, but a company can actually say, hey, this has 
you know, 20 seconds of a song that I wrote, even if it's like a cover or something, because content right. ID is actually a massive pile of shit, which is fine because they could say, hey, we're, we're going to you know, take all the money you get from monetizing it. But let's say you have a YouTube channel like ours, which isn't big. It's not monetized at all. <laughs> um, they can actually put ads all over your shit. And uh, yeah. uh, because it's YouTube, if your channel account is connected to your Google account, if you get too many, uh, too many copyright violations, it can actually come back and make problems for your Google account. <laughs> Dobby asks... Uh, for, the, for the podcast topic, um, I think we just queue it up. Yeah. I think, I think we think, just uh, queue up if you redeem those. So anybody that's confused about that, um, our channel points on Twitch, if you get enough of them, you could actually suggest a topic to talk about while we podcast. So yeah, I think, you know, at a natural segue point, we would get to that next. Yeah. Not like stop mid sentence. All right, all right. <laughs> so everybody, stop talking. Lose your train oh, of thought. I'm the worst. And let's let's answer this question. <laughs> um, but no, like the DMCA stuff, like I get it, but it does suck. But I do kind of get it. Like you can't just stream a movie. That's the same as. It's basically well, piracy, but I mean, you can with the Amazon can. thing. Yeah, but <laughs> which is a step in a good direction, I think. But yeah, like I get it with the music stuff because it is essentially the same as like streaming a movie on a, a streaming platform, which has a whole yeah, lot of legal it's, stuff. It's really, but, really unfortunate now because like people big streamers would always put on their playlist. It was a big deal yeah. to listen to the playlist with your, like your favorite streamer, like mm -hmm. rocket league with Cobb. Oh my yeah. God. Cobb's playlist is fucking fire. And because yeah. legally we can't do that shit anymore. It really sucks. It actually removes a lot of, a lot of really fun moments that we had in Twitch before, like mm -hmm. Cobb singing, you know, Backstreet Boys <laughs> while playing Rocket League is yeah. one of my favorite memories he, on hey, Twitch. Like, that's he, just fucking great. He could start doing it acapella. He could start doing it acapella, yes. But, but hey, he's that good, right? He would get copyright <laughs> struck even then. Yeah. He'd be like, is this the actual Backstreet Boys? Nah, it's Cobb. He's just that accurate. Yeah. Was there a but YouTube I mean, video of someone doing, like, the... Oh, what? He was doing, like, a famous R&B beat with, like, a trash can and pulling paper out of, like, a thing in a bathroom. Oh, <laughs> and it got copyright struck because it sounded oh. too much like it. Oh my god, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. The fucking shitty part is that, like, even if you're listening to like a cover, like a no copyright cover, which do exist, you could still be struck down because it sounds too similar, even though it's not the same thing. And computers don't have that nuance, right? Uh, Dobby also points out rhythm and music games are fucked. DJ streams are fucked. There's a whole bunch of music creation stuff on Twitch, like mashup artists are mm -hmm. fuck. Uh, Chewie no. points out Mr. Beast got claimed for humming Africa. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as far as like me how music licensing and stuff works, like even cover versions um, are technically covered under that. No pun intended. Um, but like even if an artist performs a cover song at a venue technically the original artist is supposed to get royalties from that so yeah, that's that like weird part of it i guess but um as far as rhythm and music games i thought that those were exempt because those songs are licensed within the game that's the thing though because with beat saber with the version of beat saber that everyone plays Right? The version where you're illegally using the content of the music. Exactly. The version <laughs> where the mods and, you know, you've, you've got the songs people want to hear instead of the, the 25 songs that, uh, that I mean, Beat Saber has. It sucks, but yeah, you can't get fucked. mad at Twitch for <laughs> um, enforcing I, I the it. illegal just... use of music on <laughs> a version of the game you're not even supposed to be running. Wait a minute. What about the Just Dance <laughs> streams dude i like to watch those sometimes at night dude alone we're hanging out i was asked uh it's also licensed for use in game and not performance which is true like everything is getting really weird with twitch yeah. because there are games like grand theft auto which have massive you know super popular soundtracks 
that are licensed for people playing the game. As soon as you put that on Twitch, it gets into this weird nebulous gray area of the law mm. where yeah. no one's really quite sure how it should work. And if you apply the old rules to them, you know, just slap down the old rules and say, this is the way things are, you mm. end up with really shitty situations like this, where Dobby points out, if you're dead mouse, where you get kicked off for playing your own stuff. Probably not after you talk to <laughs> Twitch, right? Yeah. Um, but the automated systems could kick you off. If you're a dead mouse and you play dead mouse stuff and the content ID stuff kicks in, like on YouTube, right? And it says, hey, um, this, this is clearly a violation. This is copyrighted music. It doesn't necessarily know that you are the owner of that, right? There's yeah. a whole lot of edge cases with this stuff, which really fucking sucks. Which in those situations, hopefully they can file appeals and, you know, get whatever can, disciplinary action revoked. But with, yeah, like it sucks. Very silly. Yeah. And yeah, they're the whole... like on YouTube, if you have to file an appeal, like while you're doing that, your video is still gone. Right, oh, it, is, it is inaccessible. Right? Yeah, yeah and, and you are absolutely losing revenue. There are big time YouTubers who that is their job. That is how they make money. And if their video, like if a brand new video from Donkey, like goes away for a week, let alone 30 days while he tries yeah. to figure out all the copyright bullshit, he mm -hmm. just lost a month of income. Like that is not trivial. Yeah, absolutely. The whole now that said, 72 pin connector is in no position like that at all. We make maybe a hundred bucks every three months. Uh, so, and all those are Twitch really subs anyway. Us. They're just not even ad revenue or anything. Yeah. Dude, I mean, it doesn't really affect us, but it's still dude. shitty. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I could buy cake pops with that. But no, I mean, there's music licensing and with streaming and everything is in a weird place where I feel like a lot of the laws that are already in place don't account for the environment of Twitch streaming and stuff. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, like, I understand that the, you know, it's, it's hard to make money in music. So those laws are there to obviously give the record label a lot of money. And that's a whole other topic, but like the music artists have to get paid somehow. And in some way, some of that's going to have to be enforced. Um, but I don't know. Everything's just in a really weird spot. I, I would like to see, and I, I know I've talked about this for Beat Saber in particular, but I would like to see Spotify kind of take on this challenge of, you know, maybe maybe your 10 bucks a month Spotify goes to 30 and you get a performer account or a streamer account where you are legally allowed to use music from that place. The artist will get increased royalties and you pay more for your account to kind of mm. upend around these problems. That would be nice, but you would also have to get every single... Uh, record label on board with spotify to allow that like spotify would have right. to contact all of these i mean it would be which they're an absurd they're in a position to do transition <laughs> right it's <laughs> like it's not it's not trivial but they are uh, in the perfect position to do this because i already uh, have relationships with all these places anyway yeah right? so i guess it might you they would have to separate and segment segment the you know, pay the $30 for the performer edition. And then while you're on that subscription, uh, like certain things would be available that, or certain things wouldn't be available that would normally be available on just a listener version. Yeah. So, I mean, things could get weird with that. Um, there was actually a moment, and I, I wish I would have called this out when I talked about the game, but in Res Infinite, uh, it actually said, hey, um, don't, don't stream this. Do not stream this at all. You will get a DMCA violation. Really? This is not up to us. It's up to the person who made the song for the game. You cannot perform or stream this. You can use it yourself while you play the game, but do not show anyone this. And it was really fucking shitty because I wanted to show people the cool new stuff in Res, and I can't. Mm. Wait, cool new stuff in Res? Res has got new stuff? Yeah, so, uh, well, new, relatively. Uh, there's, um, I feel like, like I've been Area hearing about X. this game since I was, like, in junior high, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there, there is, like, an Area X. It's, like, a remastered res in a totally new 3D environment for their VR release. Uh, and actually, it's oh, pretty, right. pretty fucking cool. The VR one. I forgot that that, it, yeah, I forgot that was yeah. a thing. That sounds dope. 
Yeah. Should we ask? Uh, sadly, you just turn off the... mostly sucks, but. Uh, mm. Should we ask? Can't you just turn off the volume? I mean, you uh, could. Yeah, but yeah, you can. But the way Res music... is basically a music game. Yeah, the way music interacts in certain games and scenes, like music, is a very, very important role in well any art form but video games especially it, it would be like uh like playing beat saber on mute yeah you can mm. but you lose the point of it. yeah can't you uh, just turn off the street like yeah yeah i think a lot of people don't realize how important music is in in games like even if you're not even paying attention to the music how much the music can influence how the the scene plays out or how the emotional impact of a scene uh the the, the Last of Us would be a energy, completely different game without its music. Yeah, the energy of of the particular part of the game. Like Doom yeah. 2016, nobody would have cared about that game if the soundtrack wasn't the way it was. Yeah. So Dobby asks, does this create incentive for games like Beat Saber to chase more licenses, or does it lead them towards pushing people from even trying to make it? Um, you know, with, with streaming being part of the marketing. Um, I, I think this pushes people away from mod. Right? And the reason people bought Beat Saber is not because of the included soundtrack. Right, The first thing you do when you get Beat Saber is you mod it, you put on your favorite songs, and you play those. Um, everybody bought Beat Saber because of the mods. Mm -hmm. You didn't buy Beat Saber just to play it alone. Um, and it, you, that even, like, it's really easy to see Beat Saber sales numbers on the PS4 through PSVR versus PC. Night and day difference. Like, there mm -hmm. are some people who like it. Cool. That's fine. But the songs are extremely limited and you cannot add your, your own. Um, and it sold fine. But on PC, it's one of the biggest VR titles, specifically because you can add your own mods and make it your, your own thing. Uh, I mean, that also might just be because nobody has PSVR and everybody, like, I don't know how big the markets are between PC and PSVR, but I would imagine... Even on that... the Oculus Store, it's kind of the same deal. On the Is Oculus it? Store, you get, okay. like, the uh, the base version of the game, you know? Well, um, you can mod the Oculus ones. Oh, really? Like, even, yeah, even the, the standalone heads. Um, oh. There are actual, like, APK mods. Um, oh. So I've, I've actually looked into getting nice. one of those for portable Beat Saber for like parties and shit. But yeah, portable you can absolutely Beat Saber. Not. That sounds yeah, ridiculous. portable Beat Saber, <laughs> wireless portable Beat Saber, three hours of battery life. I've thought about it, but I don't want to spend five hundred bucks for portable Beat. How yeah. portable is the Oculus? Like, can I go to the park and put this thing on and look like the biggest weirdo of all time, dude? Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's got instant my. tracking. It doesn't have like any lighthouses. It literally uses cameras inside the headset to mm -hmm. gauge where your hands are. It's not the best VR experience, but if you want something for, I can't even say cheap, but if you want something that's cheaper, uh, that will be portable, won't have wires, then yeah, you're good. And Oculus even Quest with a like, nice... What, $400? $500? Yeah. Yeah, like it's it's not all that much. <laughs> I'm totally messing up Dave's shots. No, you um, can't. We're chilling. But, like, it's it's not that much. Um, and with a nice USB cable, you can actually hook it up to your PC and use it like a regular VR headset with oh. anything. Which is really fucking cool. Man. It's definitely worth looking into. Yeah. I just want to be, like, the kid that, like, I'm going to go to the mall and set up a shop in the middle of a hallway, dude. Just be beating it out, dude. <laughs> oh, whatever, my malls don't exist anymore. I phrasing? forgot what year it was. Phrasing. So bitch, dude. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, phrasing. Mm. Phrasing, 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 phrasing. Whoops. Dude. Phrasing. <laughs> phrasing. It's a good thing. Head to a mall and beat one out. I got <laughs> it. We're good. Got it, dude. We're good. You know, Eric's usually the one that has a tendency to say those things. So <laughs> Dave has been a really <laughs> fitting replacement for him on the yes. cast to this week. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I wonder what he's up to. And, uh, what, what's up? What's up, Epoch? He's, he's probably... Other Dave. A, other Dave. Not the Magic Dave. Not Magic Dave. Dave. Eric's probably out in the wilderness yeah. somewhere doing something. Smart. Wilderness probably. things. The safest place to be, dude. Yeah. IRL, don't starve together. 
so um speaking of music games i've been um this is usually like my weekend cool down like i've played half-life i've played beat saber like i'm getting i'm getting hot and sweaty and beat saber and stressed out in half-life and i just want something to chill out with for a minute before i head to bed electronauts and dave i think you're the yes. one who turned me on to this originally Love electronauts it's so fun man what is electronauts? like okay it is it is a sandbox calling it a game is um giving it a little too much credit so yeah. it's quite literally a game full of a bunch of different licensed music and they give you like a bunch of different virtual vr music instruments like different loopers and sound effects and drum kits and you just run around and well, not run around. You literally stand in, in the center of your room and drum and make up beats and, and just chill. You just vibe out to some tunes and make your own stuff. Nice. It's really fun. I don't know if you it's, knew that there's a two-player mode to that game too, right? I did. I haven't tried it though. Yeah, I gotta I get want my stuff to. back together, man. I gotta get my index in so we can do that. It's a lot of fun. I love games that give uh, you uh, a creative opportunity to create music. It's so cool. Yeah, it's Mario, really Mario fun. Paint style. <laughs> yeah, actually, so yeah. it's not it's not even that deep. Like, you, like the drum kits will be associated per song, so they fit into stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and the game definitely helps you along, so you don't make something that sounds like garbage. Um, yeah. and you're yeah. you're pretty locked into like the one song you've picked to remix. But if you just want to chill out, mm -hmm. it's great. Not something I, mean, I would stream because it's pretty boring, but. Yeah. It's pretty boring to watch. I should oh, say. dude, I don't know. Once you get the selfie cam going, dude. <laughs> <The> <laughs> I guess that's true. So dope. I mean, I don't think uh, you mentioned that it's not that deep and that it's pretty limited in what you can do with it. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's a good way. No, to get no, it's more really people, easy to get into. More people engaged. Yeah, it's it's not like you're you're firing up VR Adobe Audition or something. Yeah. Which would be cool too, but. You know, there's <laughs> different markets for, you know. Yeah, yeah, I've, says, I've been playing a little bit of that. It's been fun. I really wanted to score that. Mm -hmm. Friggin' chewy, um, dude. Saving my goals. <laughs> SMH my head. SMH my head. Let's see. What else did I play? Played hey. some Pavlov. I've been trying to work on my aim. I'm actually trying to get sweaty in Pavlov now. Um, Pavlov? League players, I don't know Sweat if you've seen Pavlog League, but they're they're crazy and they're nuts. They're fucking nuts. Um, what's cool about Pavlov, and actually, what's cool about the the really constrained player base of VR today, is <gasps> that um, when playing, I'll encounter like the same six guys. Like, there's there's always some new people, but mm. like I'm just like, oh, look at that guy. The, it's it's that guy. I'm just like, yeah. hey man, he's like, sup, Tom? How's it going, <laughs> man? You ever get that aim figured out? Nah, I'm still garbage. It's okay, cool, I'll carry you. Right. Like everyone in VR is really chill, and I love seeing like the same people on the same servers all the time. It's really nice. It's cool. You get a good community feeling from it. Yeah. I got I that feeling from the uh... op, man. Hmm. The op in that game and Pavlov, dude. I used to, oh, I, used, yeah. I mained the op for like, there was a period of time that I did sweat in that game, dude. I played it for like three months every day. And people <laughs> are like, it's that guy that uses the op again, dude. Because the op is <laughs> one shot. Uh, you, could, you could front hand reload it. Like, you could reload it with your off hand so you can, like, mm -hmm. kind of burst fire the op if you knew how to reload it fast enough. It was nice. a lot of fun. It doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> Like yeah, it's you specifically led to that balancing change. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, the op has always been unbalanced in every single Counter Strike game. the The way they they try to balance it is they made it fucking expensive. So if an if a different oper killed you, well, guess what? You just lost like six grand or however much it was. You can't like exactly buy that every single round. It doesn't work. That way. Wow. I don't know if that's but, like yeah. Good I'm, I'm garbage at the op. I don't know if that's good practice for balancing or not. Um, it's it's very Counter Strike. I'll put it that way. <laughs> well, in uh, in very... Pavlov, they made it so it's only a one hit kill at head now. It used to be chest yeah. and head. Oh, so like and clicking heads Big in VR is not the same <laughs> as on computer. It's much more <laughs> yeah. difficult. 
I have a totally, hard enough time totally clicking heads on and mouse and keyboard, let alone oh, yeah. VR stuff. But yeah, I've, I've been getting sweaty in Pavlov. Uh, I am getting better. I can tell I'm getting better, but I am nice. nowhere near like comfortable. I'm nowhere near good enough. I played um, I played a bunch of Control this week actually. I watched a little bit of that. Oh, snap. I was, well, I didn't play it most, mostly through the week, and then I decided to, to stream some of it. And I figured I'd stream like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. And I think I ended up playing almost six hours that day of <laughs> control <Yeah>. on stream. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's so good. It's, um, I don't know. I do want to talk about the, uh, the DLSS technology. Um, so I was I was trying to figure out a way to stream it without getting a bunch of like OBS stutters and stuff because I mean the game is quite pretty taxes the system um, specifically I want to play that game at the highest settings I could possibly play it because of the way it looks mm. and you know that's like half of the appeal for me um, but I couldn't stream it because I kept getting you know OBS would freak out because my system's trying to run the game OBS doesn't have enough resources. Uh, it was super stuttery and, and bad looking, but I turned on DLSS, which is their, it's an NVIDIA thing. Basically it'll render everything at a lower resolution. And then it uses AI to like fix up the post image to make it look like it isn't upscaled. And I have to say, I am very, very impressed at how well that worked. Um, First, I was able to stream the game, obviously, because I was rendering everything at 720p instead of 1080p, which is what my monitor is. But the visual difference was very surprisingly minimal. It was... Honestly, I'm very impressed. It, I don't, it looks... Like, it I don't, looked perfect. Yeah. Now, obviously, you were watching on Twitch, which has, you know... A lower bit rate so you're not going to see the detail you know differences as much honestly on twitch i Ooh. would think that you wouldn't be able to tell a difference at all um but no i noticed there were occasionally it would bug out and you'd get like a 720p texture and then it would pop in you know to the uh, 1080p visual equivalent um, but most of the time i didn't notice a difference that much very very um worth it compromise hmm, nice i'd like to see where they go with that technology though because the the performance difference as far as my pc and streaming it was night and day it was like struggling nice. struggling to stream 30 frames with still getting tons of stutters and crappy looking movement to streaming what i think on the other end was very smooth 60 frame per second gameplay was, hmm. have you seen oh you're a sound guy have you seen like the Fourier into AI learning noise suppression. No, it, it sounds like black magic to me. It learns like your <laughs> yeah. voice and stuff, and anything that's not your voice, it doesn't let through. Oh, okay. like Adobe just came out with a version of it, which is dope. Uh, Discord has that, uh, like, Discord uses it now. That version, mm -hmm. the Adobe one, feels more like black magic than the Discord one, mm -hmm. but it's wild that any of it exists to begin with. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, stuff like that's been around for a long time before AI got involved. Um, there yeah. were always plugins to like filter out specific sounds. So like it would basically just you would scan what you don't want to be in the recording. Like huh. isolated, right? So mm -hmm. if I have a track where there's silence in the beginning, but there's a bunch of background noise like from my house and stuff. Um, and then the song starts. If I want to remove that noise from the actual song part, I would scan the the only noise portion before the song started or whatever. And it basically analyzes that audio and then removes those specific frequencies from the rest of the audio with everything else playing. That's um, crazy. Now, you do get some loss, right? Because if there are the same exact frequencies that you want to remove are also present in other elements of the stuff you don't want to remove, it'll make things sound kind of weird. Like it's one of those things where you could use it for certain stuff or you could only use like a little bit of it as long as you didn't try to go too far with it. Um, but the fact that they're using AI to like enhance that even better. Um, it's really, wild. Yeah, really excited so... to see how, how far they can take that. 
It's kind of yeah. like, so, I don't know, I'm a big fighting game guy, right? And all the fighting game streamers are using the Adobe one because you have these dumbass arcade sticks, right? Mm-hmm. And when you're streaming, <laughs> it's just all you can hear is clack, 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 clack. Like, <laughs> it's the worst sound of all time. And this noise suppression stuff just, like, gets rid of it. It's it's absolutely wild. That's awesome. Well, uh, Tom, you need that for your keyboard for sure. <laughs> keyboard. Oh, yeah. Tom, <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> keyboard? Yeah, Okay. <laughs> There was, I made, I made a, a picture, I guess it's a meme, a long time ago when I was editing our podcasts. Um, the visual waveform of Tom typing was literally as loud or not louder than his speaking <laughs> when like yep. looking at the audio waveform. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Like I had to go Doesn't through that. Doesn't surprise pic- me at all. Yeah. Now he, now you're pretty good at like muting yourself whenever you're typing now. But Ooh. there were a couple of parts of that podcast where I couldn't rely on any kind of automatic noise gate. I had to like listen to the <laughs> entire podcast and, and listen for which which audio waveforms visually were Tom typing and Tom talking because they looked the same <laughs> because they were just as loud as each other. <laughs> it was beautiful. Now though, our um, our podcast uploading and stuff is much more streamlined. I don't have to do any of that stuff, which is fantastic. Yeah, way way cleaner. So, listeners, I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of background noise occasionally, or typing, or like my chair squeaking or something. But um, I think we've got a pretty good system to where most of that stuff doesn't make it into the recording, and I don't have to do anything mm-hmm. in post. Yeah, which means for the past like four weeks, we've actually got episodes out on time, like within two days of the podcast. Yeah. The MP3 hits the feeds. People are able to download it. So uh, if you're watching this on Twitch and you want to add this, uh, you know, the audio of this for whatever reason to your uh, your podcast app, you can find that on the website. And we're actually doing stuff on time. It's going to be there. We promise. Neat. Fantastic. It went from like an hour and a half worth of work to five minutes. Wow. Yeah. It's really nice. Anyways, um, games. Yeah. Played Control. And then I've been playing Escape from Tarkov for the better part of today and a lot of yesterday. Um, still enjoying the new wipe, making my progress through the tasks and the quests and making some money. They've got a lot of uh, Twitch drop, like item drops going on right now for certain streamers from like, I think it's a week or so that it lasts. So if you play and you want to get some free item drops, um, watch these Twitch streams. So what's up with the new wipe? I don't really keep up with that game, but I see everyone's basically so. On it. So the game is still in development, right? It's still early access. Sure. They call it beta, but I would say it's a little yeah. not quite to beta stage. But <laughs> um, basically, every so often, I want to say, I don't know, maybe like twice a year, three times a year. I don't know how long the previous ones have been because I haven't been playing that long. But every so often, they will just reset everybody's progress to zero as if they just bought the game. And nice. I think the reason they do that primarily is, like, there's a lot of item, like, pricing and economy and player progression stuff that they're trying to balance. And you can't really do that to see how the game's going to play out on release unless you start everybody from scratch again. So right, right. They'll, they'll make a bunch of major changes to, like, the economy and, and stuff like that. Reset everybody at the beginning so they can track all that stuff. Um, but honestly, I really hope that the wife stick around. Yeah, I really hope that it's not just a beta thing. Like, I want seasons of Tark. Yeah, I that's kind of what I was going to get to. Man. The streams, so I don't watch yeah. anything on it. But the streams I do watch are the ones that delete their account on one death, dude. That oh, what? stuff's <laughs> so intense to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They'll, they'll like delete everything. That's that hardcore, hardcore. Yeah, but, yeah, it's one um, death you know. So, so most people that do hardcore runs of Escape from Tarkov basically just like, um, they can't use the flea market at all, which is like the player to player trading stuff. So everything that they right, find right, right. has to come from inside the raid, and they have to survive with it to use it. And a lot of them they don't use any of the traders either. Um, which honestly, Tarkov is one of those games that's pretty, it's pretty hardcore just as is so to make yeah. it more hardcore is pretty crazy but there are some monsters yeah. out there for sure <laughs> but yeah i've been i've been enjoying it i've been enjoying doing the same things again that i did before the the wipe <laughs> happened 
surprisingly. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a really good time. All the changes Everyone they made have been pretty customs cool. Customs again. It's customs just the madhouse. Yeah, customs is popping. Customs popping. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that the first day of every wipe, you could just don't count on playing customs at all. <laughs> like everybody. <Really? laughs> so for those who haven't played, like all of the first quests in the game, most of them are pretty much a lot of them anyway are on customs, and the first like two that you could possibly do are only on customs. So, like, everybody floods to that map beginning. Like, you can't even play it the first day or so. But it's fine now. You can play pretty much all the maps without crazy queue times at the moment, as far as I know. Nice. But, yeah, other than those two games, that's all I've played this week other than Rocket League right now and on last <clears throat> cast. Yeah, man. Uh, all I've been playing is the show, and I don't know why. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't MLB like the show. I've never watched oh, yeah. You don't now. even like baseball? And I don't you're playing, even like you've been baseball. playing it that much? Yeah. It's really fun, dude. It's an RPG. I like for some reason I always think that it's a genre that needs to get explored more is like sports MMOs. Sports RP Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I sports can see MMOs that. in general. I think that's a genre that needs to get tackled like way mm -hmm. harder than people have tried to tackle it, which is very modestly to none at all yeah but uh anything that's like a sports rpg is always fun like do you guys remember like the old like mario tennis where you level up your character and stuff hell like, yeah i don't even care about tennis i've never I once put goddamn about like tens of hours into that maybe a hundred yeah. hours into that. It, it's sort of just i have no idea what it is but it's just a, sports games with good mechanics that are where you level up and go through a progression with the characters it's really addicting especially the way that this game's set up where it's like you have to earn your right to play in the major leagues to begin with okay. for a lot of hours. I finally got to the majors today. It was like 23 hours of gameplay before I even got nice. to MLB, dude. It's a lot. It's not like here's a little tutorial in the minors. Yeah. It's like you're stuck in the minors until you prove yourself to get out of it. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I, didn't, I had no idea what that game was. So when you said you didn't like baseball, <laughs> I was like, "Why are you playing this game?" <laughs> it makes no but, sense. I, I, I get it now. Fun. Like that, I get it. And if it was nice. a sport that you liked, it would be even better for you, I'm sure. Yeah, but the so, but I mean, the fact that they took a sport you didn't like and made a really cool game around it that you're into that's yeah. you know speaks for itself. The show's been notorious for being like just one of the prettiest console games in general. Like they're always like. It's a PS4 exclusive only for the past, oh. like, forever. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, renowned as being, like, one of the prettiest looking sports games. Oh, it it's is. beautiful. It's uh, it's really nice to look at. Next year, it's going to come out on PC, dude. I want to see it at 144. Really? Hot, man. <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit, dude. I, about a sport I also still <laughs> gonna... don't care about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lose Dave for a while. Oh, if it's in 144, <laughs> I'm gone, dude. Yeah, and you can transfer your character from year to year, so I'll be able to Ooh, transfer my character from this year. What? To That's nuts. So how does that work? Do you just not have to do the beginning stages again, or how does that work? Yeah, no, it's exactly just it, like man. straight straight it. into the MLB. Because honestly, leveling your character up, like I said, I've played it for so many hours. You start at like a like a fifty five overall. I'm at like a sixty six or seven overall right now, mm -hmm. with like twenty some hours. So it's, it's you've a got lot a lot to go. Game. Yeah, there's a lot of sports so, game going on. I mean, how would that... Does that, like, kind of ruin the sequels if you just bring your character in and all of a sudden you're, like, halfway through the game already? Or how does that... It kind of it just depends still... on how much you want to get immersed. Yeah. But, I mean, there, there's, like, storylines that are built into the actual, like, seasons and stuff, too. So mm -hmm. you'll still get those. Makes sense. It'll just be really good, dude. <laughs> So, so one thing I noticed is that in that game, um, oh, yeah. everything is customizable. So, like, oh, yeah. who who you fucking talk to after the game in the locker room, <laughs> and what kind and color of equipment you've got, and then like you've got salary negotiations, and sometimes the the coach or the manager will take you into the office, and you got to like chat them like chat them down about certain stuff and and how you're Dude. you're coping and managing with shit and then there's like five different skill trees depending on your 
you know, the RPG type conversations you have. Yeah, dude, the coach. So like the last thing I just got done doing is I tried to steal a base with two outs and I got tagged out. My dude's really speedy, so I usually steal bases pretty easy. After the game, the, I get a dialogue. The coach pulls me into his office and is like, no one told you to steal a base there. Why are you doing this against our like will? It's like, oh, God. All right, dude. <laughs> like, I was freaking out. You can't just play well. You have to manage your <laughs> relationships and, he, he and everything. He was like, just kidding, man. You're normally successful. Keep doing it. We're just busting your balls. I was like, I was scared, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's super fun. But it's it's nuts. And one of the reasons that I always, like, I played a lot of baseball games growing up and then mm-hmm. completely stopped because the games got kind of kind of boring. If if you're playing oh, in sure. this way where you're where you're playing like a dude, because, hey, guess what? You're uh if you're not a pitcher, then for half the game, you're quite literally just sitting and watching the rest of your players uh, do whatever. You're yeah. just sitting there. Uh, but this, like by default, you will only ever like see the stuff in the game where you're playing. You always have the option of watching the full game, but by default, it cuts out almost all that bullshit, which is yeah. really cool. So like I'm playing a shortstop and it'll only it like sims the game up to the points where the shortstop would be used in a play. So I'm always doing something, which is always, yeah, it's really fun. That's cool. I'm enjoying it a lot. Very shocked. Yeah. I'll have to watch you play it. Um, I oh, didn't yeah. know. I wouldn't it normally be interested. In, yeah. I wouldn't normally be interested in the I, baseball game. Like you said, when you first started playing it, but dude, I've had interesting people to watch. sitting in there and watching it for like half a day with me. Cause I play That's it awesome. like eight, <laughs> 10 hours at a time. And people are just hanging out the whole time. That's Today cool. I started, uh, I started putting like old skate videos in the top corner, dude. So we're like just chilling out, watching skate videos, doing some baseball, man. <laughs> nice. So I hate sports games. Oh. I'll probably end up picking this up. It looks really good. <laughs> oh, it looks Do really it. good. Do you have, I mean, Tommy's you have calling PS4, out the MREs. Right? Hmm. Yeah, I've got the PS4. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's PS4 only. It's on sale for 35. It's normally 60. It's on sale for 34 right now. So that's why I snagged Ooh. it. Just on like a whim. Because I was bored. I'm gonna have to grab that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like can, sports like, games. Together, dude. Maybe we can hang Holy out. Holy shit. That, can we do like online stuff? Like, can we nah, get on the same so, team? Uh, you can do that in NBA. and NBA 2K, that's a thing. But it, in this, it's not. That sucks. Okay. But 2K is really what I want. Thing. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. Then it would be a baseball MMO. So I went and I, like research, man. and there was a game that came out in like 1998 that was a Cal Ripken MMO. Is what it was called, <laughs> and it was every person is their own player on the field, full huh. games. It seemed like it would have been fun, but it looked like gar- it was like PS1 era, dude. Like it looked nice. real bad. So I don't even know how the technology was there for them to have like a nine on nine game to begin with, but <laughs> it seemed like a lot of them. That's really what I want is I want the ability to do like custom leagues because I would love like when this thing hits PC, I would love to have the 72 pin connector league and we've got a oh, bunch okay. of different teams and you know, a, a bunch of different people playing players and that would just be amazing. Like I want, I want the lion blases versus the foam hats. That's <laughs> oh, what I want to see. My. That would be sick. So it's been that. Um, I'm like, see. I found a, I found joy in this game again somehow. So I'm playing a lot of Rocket League, trying to get better at ones. <laughs> back on the grind. Ones, is, ones. Back on the grind. Yeah. Well, it's the, it's the playlist I've ignored for long, like the mm-hmm. entire time I've played this game. So it's kind of like a new world to me. It feels like I'm like F starting fresh again. Because I don't know anything nice. about the ones meta at all. And it's just yeah. so different. I mean, you, you do know the master one strategy, right? Oh, what is it? <laughs> Score the goals and don't get scored on. Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to have to try that. Oh, that was close. <laughs> what a that save! Was a yeah, that was insane. Um, let's see. What else have I been playing? I'm trying to not get scored on and check my my podcast list. Uh, I played some Black Mesa, getting through some OG recreated Half-Life, which is always cool, good. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's always, it's just 
fucking fantastic. Have you, you ever want to start with game? Half-Life, that's the way to get it. Have you ever beat uh, Black Mesa? So, yes. Because it's been a mod for like 10 fucking years. <laughs> so I have beat it up until a point where they didn't have Zen. I'm going mm -hmm. through it again, and now, now it's the full release. They just okay. hit 1.0 actually a couple months ago. Cool. Um, so this will be the first time going completely through the game. Nice. Um, let's see. That game's Pavlov a lot longer I mentioned. than I thought it was, honestly. Yeah. I've been playing it, too, and I'm like 15 hours <laughs> in, and I think I'm barely halfway through it. Mm -hmm. Half-Life was a very long, very big game. That was, um, that was supposed to be a patch back, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Half-Life 2 seems shorter. Half-Life Alex is definitely shorter because you can't expect people to be standing for 40 hours straight. What? You can't expect them to be standing for like 15. Um, Dude, have you seen the action stools, though? I actually... Uh, I have one in my Action stools? Yeah, the stools that like have a rounded, so they're really tall bar stools that have a rounded bottom on them. So like you're oh. like kind of leaning on it, but no matter where you go, like it rotates and stuff. It's just like a little stool that spins Ooh. and stuff. So like you're kind of standing, but you're still getting supported. I've seen a lot of people in the VR use it. I just uh, tried one at a uh, high school for some reason. They had them, dude. So <laughs> I I might VR. look into that. It's worth, dude. Especially for oh, you to play like Battlegrounds, man. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing that always stops me from playing VR is literally my feet just hurt too bad and I've got to get off of them because I will yeah. stand and play VR for five hours at a time. Which like sitting down and playing video games for five hours. Cool. Your ass mm -hmm. might hurt. But VR, yeah. dude, your legs, your shoulders, like everything just hurts. And maybe it's because I'm just out of shape, but. Oh, if, no, if I'm not like there. actively running around, it just everything hurts. Uh, I mean, you saw what I'm doing. If I stream now every hour, I'm doing stretches, dude. Yeah, yeah that's good though. That's start that. that's uh, that's healthy for sure. It's yeah. it's I'm digging it. It's good practice. Um, I played a little bit of Metroid Fusion on stream, and Adam, I know this is a game you are very familiar. With. Yeah, well, not so much anymore because I haven't played it since I was I don't know 14, 15. <laughs> but uh <laughs> um i i do remember liking it a lot back in the day if that's an acceptable um, phrase at this point yeah i, I think I say, am i old enough to say back in the day yet i think you are yeah nice. i perfect. mean you're talking about a game boy advance game so yeah i, w I would say yes perfect oh, yeah, um certainly especially for like <laughs> we're playing a rocket yeah, that's game true yeah pros are 15 years old man yeah that's true. So, like, yeah good call I'm still um, not over every time I hear someone say that they were born after 2000. It freaks me out. But even right? those Same. people are like, they're 20 now, man. What? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. That's oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. I feel like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Existential no. crisis. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, it can't man. be this I... way. <laughs> we have to stop time. Yeah. Chewie hitting us with the OK Boomer. Yep. Uh, speaking of the OK Boomer and Chewy, uh, actually, Chewy and I played a game that I haven't played since 2011. Oh, yeah. Portal what? 2. Yeah, I Portal love 2 Portal 2. It's Portal so 2 my... fucking good. Portal 2, at least Portal, this Portal series in general, the first two. But um, Portal 2 might be in my top 10 of all time. I think it is. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Easy. There's just something about it. It introduced me. It got me into puzzle games, I think. So um, Chewie said, hey, man, you want to play some Portal 2? I'm like, wait, hold the fuck on. <laughs> a, didn't know you were old enough to know what Portal 2 was. B, hell fucking yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> and so we played some Portal 2 co-op, and it was just so much stupid fucking fun. Like, we killed mm -hmm. each other 100,000 times. Um, <laughs> it became a, a game of, no, really, I promise this time I'm not going to drop the light bridge out from under you. <laughs> I'm like... Uh, you sure? I don't he's like, trust yeah, man. You. <laughs> so, so I, I hand him the thing, and he's like, "Cool, all right." And now we just gotta go this way. And then I just drop him in the water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha back. And then, then we did that for a whole bunch. Um, <laughs> but we should, we should really play some Portal Two co-op on stream because it is just such a good, hilarious. Um, and I really, I'm so glad that Valve is back making single player games because that was the last one that they released until Half Life Alex. Oh my God! Really. And that oh, uh, the yeah. story, the single player story mode in Portal Two is 
top notch. Yeah. It's got Have you ever humor. gone through the co-op? I think we did. I don't. Didn't we? Um, me and you didn't I... for sure. Okay. I I did play some of it, but I I don't think I ever went like all the way through it or anything. I do remember it being good. Yeah, we we like, should do. They that. did a good job with it. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was great. Um. But yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. The puzzle solutions, like I haven't played this thing in nine years, so the puzzle solutions were not completely apparent to me. Mm -hmm. Um. But there, there is still a slight amount of familiarity, so it might be time to totally revisit that series. Yeah. Did you beat the co-op yet? Uh, I mean, I beat it in 2011. Yeah, yeah. Again, I remember like the like second last puzzle just ruining friendships for me, dude. Yes. Like, oh my there's, god. There's one that's like shaped like an X or something. Like, there's beams mm -hmm. that go up one direction and other beams that go up another way. And I just was so mad at everyone that I enjoyed to hang out with. Dude. <laughs> like it was, it was such a raw time. I remember playing that version. Uh, you got me see. wanting to play Portal of Portal Two again. <laughs> it's not that long of a playthrough. No, it's not. Like Portal One is probably what three one hours. Super... Portal Two is like ten, fifteen. Yeah, Portal One was really short. I remember Eric telling um, me about playing Portal 1 for the first time, where he basically, his total play time was two hours. And I think he mm -hmm. said he got through every puzzle except for the last one in like 30 minutes, <laughs> and then spent like an <laughs> yeah. hour plus on the last <laughs> bit of it. That sounds about right. Yeah. Um, I played a new VR game. I played Megalith, which is a port of a PSVR game. Um, the game itself tr is like like Dota, like League. It's a, it's a VR MOBA. Um, it's okay. It's bashed right now in reviews because there is no party system. And having a MOBA without a party system is horrifying. <laughs> now, the reason that happened is because, you know, on on the PlayStation, you've got all the party stuff built into the OS mm -hmm. on PC. Right. You don't necessarily have that. And they didn't add one. In, so you're kind of fucked. You just have to hit start at the same time and then hope you end up on the same. The game itself is fine. Um, it's definitely slow though. One of the things I really did not like about it is it is the, the abilities don't do enough damage. The right, right, people right. have way too much health. They're just fucking bullet sponges. So you run around, you're just like, well, I'm going to try to kill this guy. And you shoot him for literally 30 seconds straight. <laughs> and you hope your his buddy doesn't heal him. It's not like Dota, where you, you fuck up, you make a mistake. Ah, you're dead. You're just dead. You're dead. That's it. You're dead. Y you're That's dead. Um, you're dead. Now, Megalith is just like, ah, you fucked up. Well, I hope you don't fuck up for another 30 seconds in a row, because... Because <laughs> you might be dead. Probably not. But you could be. Like, you can imagine it. Um, you can imagine it? <laughs> you can imagine being dead. That's the closest I mean, it's, you're going to get. It's a fine game. It's not, it's not terrible. Um, mm. But it does, because of the lack of... Because of the bullet sponginess, it feels way slower than it should. And mm. feels like way slower than it is. Um I like wonder even, if that's to sort of creeps. keep like people without VR legs like dying. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I think there's like but a even what even the creeps like the the oh. low level creeps so you can push up to a tower take a while to kill. Mm. Um, like you would expect late game, like you're one shotting or, or close to one shotting the tiny creeps, but you're not. It still takes like a good three or four shots. To clean one of those up, of which there are like six at any one time. <laughs> um, the towers themselves are super chunky. It, it's fine. I played Sounds... with bots my first time through. It, I don't know. Maybe with people it would be better, but it certainly wasn't great. Right, right, right. It looked really cool. I, like I wanted it to. I don't know. I, it's kind of. I like, really I want a VR Dota. Yeah, and I'm sort of like. With VR right now, I just buy games that are cool ideas and don't ever play them. Just because I want people to, like, get financed that have these ideas to make yeah. better yeah. versions of these ideas. Doing like, it's always, like, 
doing my part. Yeah. yeah I'm doing like, my I part. I want to see this, but this ain't it. This ain't the play. Right? Yeah. But maybe one day, dude, if I give you enough $15 at a time, something that I'll actually want to play comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, well, when you get your, your new setup, we'll have to try that together. Because I think it, it is going to be better with friends. Um, and maybe maybe I picked the wrong hero, but I also didn't think that the abilities themselves were that They're fine, but there's like six heroes, and they're they're all kind of okay. I wasn't ever really excited about any of them. Like, at least with Dota or League, you, you look at a hero and you're like, holy shit, that guy's like fucking massive, and he's red, and he's got a big-ass axe, and his name is Axe! His and this is just right. like, ah, oh, here's here's Frost person. Cool. Oh, look, there's Lightning Guy. Mm. I'm ready for Lightning Guy now. No wild <laughs> and it, it wasn't like, no really... Wild abilities yet. Yeah, like, it, it was really... I don't want to say generic, because it wasn't super generic. Right. Um, but it just wasn't... It wasn't great. And uh, in Streltech... Uh, the game we're talking about is Megalith, which is a uh, a VR MOBA. Yeah. Also, Easy Dan Easy uh, Dank says, "Hey guys, what's up, dude? He's in our game lobby oh, right what's now. What's up, Easy Dank? Checking us out. Thanks for joining. We're podcasting, um, chilling. Yeah. Let's see what other game? A uh, setting more more Beat Saber records, but I've talked about that a bunch. Um, except there's one thing I wanted to talk about on the show. And I think yeah. you guys have all experienced this. It happened to me last night with Beat Saber. And it, honestly, it was kind of depressing. Have you ever uh -huh. jumped into a game, you start playing, and you just, you just keep fucking up? You just can't make it happen. No matter mm -hmm. what you try, you're just you're floundering. You just you can't get into it. That all happened right. with me in Beat Saber last night. I've still got a little bit of it this morning. Um, like maps that I completed like three or four times before. Couldn't finish them. Just, uh, just flub the whole map. Can't, you can't really do it. You're in a slump, Tom. I know. I'm hitting the slump. I've been I'm in, in a, a Beat Saber slump. <laughs> I've been in a Rocket League slump for like a year now. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Tom. All right, you're gonna play Ring Fit Adventure. You're gonna eat asparagus. You're gonna <laughs> get your vegetables going. Shit. You'll get right Doom, out of Doom 2016 slump. soundtrack. Right. Doom 2016. Okay. It's playing right. Speaking of which, are there any uh, Beat Saber maps for the Doom 2016 soundtrack? Because you yes, totally do. Most of them are bad. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah. We have to learn how to make them. It, I've actually kicked around the idea of being a Beat Saber mapper for a while now. I don't know, though. Like, I could, I have played enough that I think I could be a decent mapper. But, you know, we'll have to see. Some people certainly shouldn't be mapping because they're like forced no. carpal tunnel, dude. Like the the what do they call it? The wrist twisters, dude. The ones that just like these notes don't make sense at all next to each other. <laughs> like it doesn't yeah. flow well and all that. Yeah, there's some maps out there that are just uh, painful. Yeah, and I I wish that the the mod that lets you pull songs within the game showed the ratings next to them. Because I'll click on a map, I'll be like, oh, this is going to be great, download it, and then look at the other mod that shows the ratings, and it's like a 30%. I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. Nah. <laughs> nah, we're not doing it. At least there's a rating system Literally, you can kind of sort of filter those out a little bit. Hmm. It's like, hey, literally 70% of uh, the people who have played this song says it sucks. Let's, uh, let's not ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also played... Uh, a little bit, very little bit, of Yakuza 0. Um, a game that I originally hated and then jumped back into. Uh, just because I needed something that was really low-key. Like, it was, it was Sunday night. I was, like, heading to bed soon. I wanted to play something, but I didn't want to get, like, too involved. So, uh, yeah, I played some Yakuza. Played a whole bunch of mini games. It was hilarious. Um... <laughs> Uh, the the whole thing is like Japan in the '80s simulator. That is Yakuza Zero. Japan in uh, the so '80s. I'm, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, stream some of that because it is it is fucking hilarious all the time. <laughs> um, and uh, there's there's an achievement called "I Did It for the Achievement," where you have to go to um to a store after hmm. you collect a card showing a cute girl on the front, and you go to the store. 
that unlocks and you have to watch a movie and the achievement is called I did it for the achievement. So you can just mm. imagine. Nice. <laughs> it was it was funny. Fantastic. I think that's that's all I've got on my list. Nice. Real quick before we get to news, because I know we're we're kind of running a little long today. Um, Dave, what is, can you explain pickleball? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> On the show notes, it says you've been playing pickleball, pickleball which isn't a video game. It's a, which, a real yeah, life game. It's an IRL game, game dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, right. what, what is pickleball? Pickleball is a paddle sport. It is played on a shortened and uh, kind of like smaller tennis court. Okay. Uh, generally, it's a two v two game. It's very familiar to badminton, which also no one knows how that game works. So, it's, <laughs> to it's me, a badminton great is it. is. Uh, Tennis volleyball with a weird thing. Yeah, with a weird thing. <laughs> Miniature te- a, it, tennis volleyball. It's a it's a finesse sport in the way that you can't, you don't want to hit the ball high over the net. Like you got to keep it low, or else you get spiked. Like you can certainly mm-hmm. spike on people in this game, and the entire object is to not get spiked. But uh, badminton, yo, Chewie's in there. So it's a game I've played every summer for the past four years. I've actually gotten really good at it and it's really weird that i i don't know it's not something that i ever thought i would get into but it's just mm-hmm. addicting from the get-go dude there is a uh of all people man uh you know how like some ga- uh talk show people have been doing their shows from home like jimmy fallon and all that there's like kind of shows uh ellen yeah. degeneres was just talking about how she's addicted to pickleball now and she's <laughs> what? Playing it. like that's what she's been doing she's like oh yeah this game's, like, way too addicting. This is all I do is play pickleball now. So, like, it's a lot of fun. You need but to yeah, contact her and be like, 1v1 me, nerd. 1v1 me, dude. Yeah. See me in the courts. Uh, the Where I live, it's a huge sport. Like, a lot tons of people play it, right? So, what I do is I wake up at, like, 6 a.m. And I'll go to courts. And there's just, like, hundreds of people there. And what? you just put your paddle up on a fence to sort of... uh say like i'm next so there's oh, okay. there's there's multiple slots of four spots for paddles like four paddles because it's a four player game mm-hmm. right so you'll go up you'll toss your paddle up then you'll just wait for courts to open up then whoever randomly put their paddle with yours you'll go and play over them. it's it's a ton of yeah. i played a, like i won tournaments for this game last year and the year really before, actually. yeah i'm getting i'm getting up there dude that's trying awesome. to go esports pro at pickleball, man. We need this some. This is a fun way to stay cheap. We need some footage of you playing, dude. I uh, if we pause after this, I could stream it through my cam. I actually my YouTube channel. I put replays on there so I can analyze them, dude. I just oh said wow! Replays. Oh, you went full I, in. Nice. I record. Uh, I've recorded matches in the past, so I can go back and rewatch them, and sort of analyze it and stuff. Yeah. And I, I've got, like, a coach that I'll do drills with every once in a while, too. It's fun. That's cool. That's awesome. Good healthy hobby, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. But that's... that's. Oh, did I make it? No! Oh, so close. Thanks for the follow, Straltech. Appreciate it. Oh, Straltech is the dude... I was telling you guys I'm getting into Rocket League again. Like, I'm finding a new love for this. Uh. And it's a lot because of him, man. So he's putting it together a two v two Utah league, and uh, oh. me and me and uh, if you remember Sloth from yeah. RLCS, right? Yep. He's, we're we're in it as a team. So I'm like trying to grind up so I can hopefully win this league. Awesome! Good luck. Oh, Hell I'm yeah. excited. Well, I don't have any more games to talk about. I don't know if you do, Tom. I think you said you were pretty much <laughs> tapped. Uh. So I, I apparently was saying a bunch of things on mute because uh, oh, I'm no. an idiot. <laughs> oh, no. It happens. It's okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I totally forgot to mention a game, and Chewie pointed out that we actually played Minecraft Dungeons for, like, two hours. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, a way more chill, child-friendly version of Diablo. It's, yeah. I mean, it's nowhere, nowhere near as dense. It's not Path of Exile. You're not going to spend, just like Acura said... You're not going to spend years perfecting your build. It's quite literally a, oh, this number is bigger than this number. Let me, let me use that. There's a little bit more to it. If you want to get like into like some of the higher level enchantments. And honestly, I'm not that far in, 
Um, but it's it's fun, especially with uh, with um, Xbox Game Pass because I didn't yeah. have to buy it. Right, I just pulled it, played it. Cool. Uh, also, it's really nice to download a game that's three gigs. Yeah, <laughs> in this day and age, yes, that is a. It was beautiful. It's a luxury. But so, yeah, nice. Um, so before we get into the news, actually, I also forgot a game, but it it segues nicely into one of our news segments. So I'll we can talk about the game for a second, and then you can jump in with the the news topic. But I bought the giant charity bundle on itch.io. Because at the time of when I bought it, it was like 752 games or something like that for $5 minimum. <laughs> and it, it's all getting donated to charity. Um, and I didn't really get a chance to really sort through all those games and play much, but I did play one. Um, and I'm actually struggling to remember the name of it because I, I forgot to put it in the show notes. But it's called Solitaire. Something New Zealand. So basically this guy um, took a bunch of photos of this park in New Zealand and used it as game assets um, in Unreal Engine to make this little like photography walking sim game thing. Huh. So it's, it's basically just the, a modeling of an actual park in New Zealand. Beautiful park um, with really pretty Unreal Engine graphics that he hmm. you know photographed the assets for. And you can basically you just walk around. Um, you get a camera off this this park bench, and you can walk around and take pictures. And if you take pictures of certain parts of the park that are on this like photo board thing, you can fast travel between the those two areas of the park. But I mean that's literally it. You you, <laughs> you can walk around, look at the park. It's really pretty. The graphics are very very good. Lots of like depth of field effects where. You know, the stuff you're focused on is in focus and then like stuff in the background is blurry the further out it gets and stuff, which makes it look, I don't want to say it's photorealistic, but there are certain lighting and certain angles where you can take a photo and it looks very good. Um, so the game has like a, an in-game screenshot thing. Anything you take a picture of with your in-game camera gets saved to a folder and you can, you know, do whatever you want with those after the fact. But yeah, it's just like a little photography sim game where you just walk around this really pretty park and just look at everything and you can take pictures and screenshots it's kind of cool nice it's not much of a game game right there's not a lot to do but it is the most chill thing i've ever played in my life because you literally just walk around looking at pretty things for a minute i uh i kind of actually i'm gonna start streaming this but sometimes my chill out cool down vr game is google earth Google Earth in hey. VR. Um, yeah, so very cool. So I, I totally get the appeal. I wish there were more games like that, where it literally mm -hmm. just drops you in a place and it says, I don't know, go, go fucking walk around and shit. What's that game? Chill out, man. Have fun. I was, that, I was yeah, about to yeah. bring that up. They need to make the VR GeoGuessr. <laughs> Absolutely. That would be great. I love GeoGuessr. So we, we should play that sometime. That's, I'm in. Yeah, there there is no VR GeoGuessr Chewy. Sadly enough, if there was, I would know about it. Well, not yet. Um, TM, 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 dude. All right, dude. We're, yeah. we're, we got a we got a money making opportunity. All right, <laughs> I'm not squatted. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we will probably yeah stream some Half Life Alex tonight, uh, which is another game I forgot to talk about. Damn it! Why do I keep doing this tonight? Um, <laughs> We've just been playing. But, uh, we'll I probably just stream. One that I at least wanted to mention too. All right, <laughs> long um, cast, boys. So, yeah, Let's we'll, do it. Very fast. We'll, uh, we'll probably probably stream some uh, some Half Life Alex tonight. Continue on where we left off, and uh, then stream some uh, some Google Earth VR because that's that's great. Um, so yeah, I I started up Half Life Alex again, third time, uh, going through on hard difficulty again, and. Yeah, it's it's goddamn fucking magical. I love Half Life. The graphics are incredible. The sound design is amazing. The just everything about that game. I cannot get enough of it. I'm going through the, for the third time since it came out in March, and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Nice, uh, it's just dude. it's just good. I love that you uh, enjoy so something yeah, that if, much. 
if uh, like it's, it's, I mean, it's, cool it's, it's a Half-Life game. I've done yeah. this with every Half-Life game. <laughs> like, when I was a kid, I had the demo for Half-Life, which I played like 10 times through. And then I got the game, and I played that 10 times through. And then I got Half-Life 2, and it just like... Every single time a new Half-Life game comes out, that is the thing I play forever. It's just that good. Like, up until Half-Life Alex, I would still play Half-Life 2 probably once a year. That's awesome. That's cool. That's, yeah, that's wild. I was like that with Tech it. Mobile, dude. Every year I go through and play a Tech Mobile <laughs> yep. season for some reason, dude. I don't know <laughs> why. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Clubhouse games, dude, on the Switch. I completely forgot because it's on the Switch, so I don't... <clears throat> I don't clubhouse think games yeah 51 clubhouse games just came out on the switch it's just 51 like board games and it's a, like a giant game huh. collection but it also has like the next like it's there's wii bowling right but like switch version of that and darts and there's pool there's table tennis uh there's air hockey there's like toy baseball the uh what is this foosball table? Oh, it's just called foosballs. That's all in it for motion. Oh, straw blade it. And then if you don't want to play like the movement games, you got like chess, checkers, Mancala, you got Yahtzee. And you can play all <laughs> of these with anybody randomly match made online too, if you don't have someone to play with like, nice. at your house. So what I started doing is I took out my old like party lights and I would do like galactic bowling since bowling alleys are closed down as like a date <laughs> night for me and my girlfriend. So I've got like my lights in my room are all like blue lights and I have these like flashing party lights all over the place. Just set it up for, uh, for <laughs> that bowling. Is rad. Yeah. It's been, it's been a fun time. Awesome. So if anybody wants to challenge me <laughs> at any game, I'm doing any game ever, games, <laughs> any of them, I'm sick at it. Yo, my connect four connect four is on there too. I oh. talk mad shit on connect four, dude. I, <laughs> I love connect four. <laughs> There's a line of four. Magic Dave will connect them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make you think that I'm not, too, dude. It's all about faking it, dude. Mind control. <laughs> Bop. All right. That's all I want to say. That's all right. If, if you've been on the fence about it or if anybody heard about it, dude, just get it. It's worth it. You'll put a lot of time in it, especially if you have anybody else to play with. But even if you don't, you get to learn a lot of really cool games that are like popular in other countries online with other people. Nice. Now, I like there's probably a few exceptions where you don't want to learn like something like Mahjong online where you go up against people who have like 40 years of experience in that game yeah. and you just get <laughs> fucking wrecked. Dude, I haven't even tried backgammon yet, but I know I'm going to get fucking destroyed when I play backgammon. There's no <laughs> way. Apparently that game's got like a ridiculous like meta to it that I just don't even begin to understand. I nice. play Yahtzee, dude. The Yahtzee's on there. <laughs> <laughs> well. But yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I don't have anything games. else I forgot yet. <laughs> we made it. We made it through. We made it. We did it. If anybody wants to play 51 Clubhouse games, add me on Switch. Dude. I'll hit you up. <laughs> Do it. Add him. Are we ready for the news, boys? We I are. Am. What you got for us, Tom? So, uh, Adam, speaking of... Yeah, scroll down. You scroll there down? <laughs> there it there is. There we go. We're, we're good. We got it. Speaking of that uh, that bundle you bought, yeah, uh, H.io's uh, charity bundle surpassed their $5 million goal. Dang. So that's pretty, pretty that's, rad. Wow. Yeah, that's insane. You said that bundle was 15 Good for them. Bucks. It was a minimum of $5. You can donate however much oh. you want. Dang. For what I'm reading on here now is up a lot more games than when I bought it. Did they add a bunch of stuff to it? Mm hmm. They did. People so, keep hearing, oh, wait, cool. Charity bundle. Can I get in on that? I'll add my game. Which 1500, is just huh? awesome. <laughs> 1,500 yep. games for a minimum of $5. Now, I'm sure a lot of them are garbage. And I don't want to yeah. call people's work garbage, but I mean, like, a lot of them are probably going to be. You know, some people's first games or like a game that's intentionally bad, mm. like for memes and stuff. But um, that yeah. doesn't mean you don't you can't enjoy playing them, though, too. Um, you know, like those B horror movies that are like intentionally bad can be really oh, enjoyable. <laughs> game that's like, like spooky house of scary jump scares or some nonsense like that. Dude. I'm sure there's a bunch yeah. of those in there. 
the budget horror games are always the funniest things about playing. They're so good. And this version was like Snoop Dogg would come around the corner smoking a blunt and like throw the meters at you and shit. Like it was. So good. <laughs> Uh, that's incredible i gotta go find that game beautiful uh let's see uh there was a riot games executive that said some pretty nasty awful racist stuff that we're not going to even dignify by reading it on air uh he's been fired riot basically said yeah this guy doesn't uh doesn't really speak for us also (laughs) not not exactly the way this company feels about this stuff so he can go fuck himself over this way because he is fired. Uh, so yeah, cool. You be a racist ass hat. You you get fired you, very publicly. You, you get fired. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, gods and monsters. So this game has been kind of in development since E three of last year, and. You know, not not a whole lot of information on it. Unfortunately, Google Stadia had an issue where they released the E3 demo, which was completely unfinished and not at all a full game, uh, just made it live for anyone on their platform. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to download anything with Stadia. You just hit play. And so you get to play a nice pre-release game. Uh, Google has said that they're now working to um, update their systems to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. Am I hearing a reason That's to a finally buy a Stadia? Like, I think you might accidentally get a pre release game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't That's think of any other reason why I would ever want that thing, but now I kind of do, man. I can get in the loop. If they were like digital E3, Stadia only, you know how many fucking Stadias they Dude, I would sign up. Yeah, absolutely. I'm in. I'm going, dude. Yeah. That'd be And secret. anyway, like. Like, when going to PAX or or any place like that, I'm not going to wait three fucking hours to play a demo. But if I had it on, like, Stadia or PS Now or whatever, and I I could just hit, oh, hey, let me try out the new demo of The Last of Us or Smash Brothers or whatever. Hell fucking yes, I'm paying for that. Even if it was, like, an extra $10 ticket. Like, here's your virtual E3 ticket. You can play the games. Awesome. That's great. Um... Yeah, so uh, that Google Google is fixing stuff up. Um, no Man's Sky had a uh, a recent update, and now crossplay. Oh, yeah, good for so, them. So, uh, yeah, PlayStation. I think it's uh, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. You can all play together. Go have fun. Explore the galaxy, um, and uh, you know, build bases together. Have fun with friends. And if you haven't watched the Internet Historian video on that game, just do it. <laughs> yeah. That, it's one of the most interesting, like, scenarios in gaming I've ever seen. Like, it's I such haven't seen that, game. so I'll have to watch that. You know, because, like, they overpromised, and then yeah. they got kind of memed on real hard, and then they spent billions of years and dollars to upgrade a game mm. that's already out, like... It de- it's definitely worth a watch. And it kind of explains how they got in the situation to begin with. And, uh, yeah. It's it's really cool. I'll check it out. As, for sure. as much shit as I gave No Man's Sky on this show, um, you know, when it, when it came out, the game today is really good. It's really good. fun and really playable. Uh, they have, they have definitely put in the work, time, the effort, and the money to make it. You know, basically the thing they promised. Yeah. Right. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Blowing people up in Rocket League, apparently. That's my job today. Uh, <laughs> Battlefield 1, 3, 4, 5, Hardline, Mass Effect 3, and Mass Effect the Andromeda. And there's something else on this list that I can't see. It's scrolled up. And Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 are now available on Steam. <laughs> that was that was a lot. <laughs> uh, something else that's available on Steam. I'm just gonna add in because I saw it get launched twice since we started this, and I didn't know. It's Persona 4 Golden. I had no goddamn clue that Ooh. came out on PC, but apparently it just did. It's like lived huh. on the Vita until now. Nice. So I will probably be gone doing weeb shit for the next like week or two, man. <laughs> I need to get back into Persona 5 because I started that on the PS4, but I never 
got super Just far play Royal into now. it. Royal, they fixed the things yeah. that people didn't like. It's good. Yeah, I guess. Because we, Renee bought Royal. Um, mm. I think I might just have to restart my save and, and do that. I'm not that far. Uh, let's see here. So, we do have uh, PS5 news, because Sony had a big press conference online, yes. showed off a bunch of the tech, showed off a bunch of games, and one of the first things people saw is a Rockstar Games logo. Get ready, <laughs> get hyped, it's yes. coming, you've waited for it, they're delivering it, Grand Theft Auto 5. It's, it's Grand Theft Auto 5 again. It's, it's just Grand Theft Auto 5. There's, there's literally nothing else. It's just 5 again. The same it's game that you've bought probably three or four times now, you can buy again. Heck yeah, Skyrim who? I it's was, time for Grand Theft Auto I was about 5. To bring, I was about to bring it up. <laughs> Who's winning in the, the uh, sheer amount of Christ. releases? Skyrim or, or Grand Theft Auto 5? Did Take-Two hire Todd Howard or something? Because they're just releasing the same shit every goddamn day. Uh, I did say, or I saw that it said Enhanced Edition, right? So I'm sure they're doing some enhanced stuff to make it prettier, yeah. but that's a, probably not a whole lot. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, if, if somebody, you know, loves Grand Theft Auto V and they're going to keep playing it, might as well play it on the new system, I guess. This would be a perfect time for Battle of Gay Tony 2, and I that was like my favorite <laughs> DLC for any yeah. game ever. I, I, I hope that they will eventually do that. Battle of the Gay Tony was so good. It didn't make it was like the first time that we saw DLC be a whole standalone chapter like that. It was like, yeah, no one saw I, DLC as being able to be that until that happened. What I really loved about it though was, um, like GTA 4 caught a lot of flack for being too self serious. The Battle mm -hmm. of the Gay Tony was Rockstar saying, all right, you want something that, that kind of feels like Vice City? Do you want the level of Goofy you got in Grand Theft Auto 3? <laughs> Battle of the Gay Tony. Go have fun with it. And we did. It was great. I did realize, though, watching that press conference, how much I hate awkward fucking developers standing on stage trying to sell me a game. Just give me, <laughs> yeah. me clip after clip show after clip it. after yeah. clip. Just show it. You guys mm. awkwardly standing Sh on stage and then clapping yeah. for Keanu Reeves, dude. It's cool. It's not needed. It's a little awkward. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, let's see here. We also have a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon uh, Forbidden West coming to the PS5. So that's cool. Yep. I know if Urk were here, he'd be, like, screaming. <laughs> um, I still, I've played, like, a few hours of it. I need to get back to that game, but cool. Yeah. I'm glad that, uh, that the game's getting a sequel. Not exactly mm -hmm. a surprise. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. it was a big success, big triple a title PlayStation exclusive. Like, you know, all the cards are there. And then we had a little bit of, uh, a little bit of naughty dog, um, drama. So they said, Hey, there's a, there's a Spider-Man game. It's coming out, Spider-Man Miles Morales. If you've played Spider-Man on the PS4, this it does. Uh, this is also not a surprise. Uh, but this is fucking fantastic. I'm excited. I love Spider-Man on the PS4. But then a Sony exec says, "Well, it's kind of it's more like a DLC to four than it is a full game." Mm -hmm. And people are like, "Wait, what the fuck? You pitch this as a full game, and it's literally just Spider-Man Four, but some extra DLC shit for Miles? Uh -huh. Fuck you. That's not what we want." And so Naughty Dog had to come out and they said, no, the Sony guy was wrong. It's a full game. Okay? It's a full game. So everyone's like, oh, full okay, game. cool. And they were happy. So hopefully it turns out so, to yeah. be a full game for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, then there were some more, more games that uh, yeah. I know you were excited about, Adam. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to read off the list because I, did, I didn't watch all the trailers, but I did watch some of these. Um. So we got Gran Turismo 7, new Gran Turismo title. Uh, Dave might be excited about that one. I don't know. He had to step away for a second. Um, we'll ask him when he gets back. Uh, Godfall, that one, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, that one was the, it's like a third-person melee combat action game uh, from Gearbox and Counterplay Games. So it's got a little bit of that Borderlands, I guess, aspect of it, probably the looting and the items and stuff mixed with like uh what looked like sort of 
Devil May Cry Ooh. combat, sort of. Look kind of neat. Oh, Devil May Cry. Oh, I forgot. I have Devil May Cry 5. I started it, and then for some reason I stopped. Oh, no. I, I haven't started it yet. I bought it, and I never played it. Dude, I just remember. Oh, I got to get back to it. I, I keep started. buying games and don't play them. Yes, I'm with you, dude. Adulting is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, uh, the game we were talking about is Godfall. So it's from, um, it's on the, the new PS5. It was one of the trailers. I don't know if you saw it or not. But I was no. the combat kind of looked Devil May Cry ish, and it's from mm. Gearbox and Counterplay, so it's got a little bit of Borderlands <sighs> elements to it too. So you might be excited about that one. It might be worth I, looking up the trailer. Oh, for. absolutely, dude! I've been enjoying Streets of Rage a lot. Too. Like I, yeah, there's a lot of good games that I need to find time for. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not enough time and too many excellent games. It's a problem. Everybody's Steam think- library is mostly unplayed. I'm pretty sure like the Dark Souls remaster is the big news to come oh, out. Oh yeah, right? Demon yeah, Demon I Souls. To write them down. Demon Souls. Yeah. They not just a remaster. They are they've remade Demon Souls. Uh, the trailer oh, was really yeah. cool. Um, I am it was excited. Partnered with uh, Blue Point. So. Um, yeah, they did got... Shadow of Colossus if I remember right. The remake for yes. Shadow of Colossus. Yeah. Oh, I'm doubly Which, excited. They did good yeah. fucking work. Yeah, and they're they also help out with a lot of the like remastered games too, not just the remade ones. So they have a lot of experience in in that kind of avenue. So very cool to see that. And we're getting a new Odd World game. Oh, did you guys really? ever play Abe's Odyssey back Absolutely, back in man. the day? I never <laughs> did. A red That's actually really one are. series that I never yeah. got into. I I didn't play a lot of it. I think I played definitely played a demo for sure, and I might have rented it or something. Um, but there are, there are some, I don't want to say modern, but like some of the newer games, it was like third person action, like adventure sort of thing. Uh, this one is like, it looked from the trailer, like they're going back to the roots of 2d platformer. It looked kind of like the old games, which is like really pretty graphics and more stuff. So that might be kind of cool. Um, my personal, f- yeah, my personal favorite <laughs> reveal of this thing was Resident Evil Eight. Resident Evil Eight Village. This That's thing, so yeah. Well, I mean, first off, I didn't know it was a Resident Evil game until the end of the trailer. I guess I missed some of the cues or whatever. But I mean, they make it ambiguous at the at the beginning of the trailer. So seeing that live was really really cool, because it's this like it doesn't look like a Resident Evil game necessarily. Um, definitely heavy RE4 vibes, right? It's village. There seems to be, uh, like the setting is almost like some of it looked like old Gothic Victorian kind of stuff. And then some of it looked more modern. Yeah. Uh, really dark, like Castlevania vibes in like the mood, but darker. Uh, there was a werewolf. It looked like vampires maybe. But it's Resident Evil 8, and apparently it's a continuation of Resident Evil 7 in a way. Interesting. Yeah. But the way they did the reveal Ooh. was really cool because they showed this whole trailer, and then it said Village on the screen. And I was like, oh, cool, a new title, Village. That looks neat. And then it like it fades out except for the V and the I and the two stems of the L's to, uh. form, uh, to form the Roman numeral 8. And then it fades back in with Resident Evil. Eight village and it was it was uh it was hype it was awesome i was excited <laughs> Cap- i love capcom has been on point mm-hmm. so definitely check that trailer out because it looks really cool looks different yeah, we'll which is what we needed from resident evil titles and which is why yeah. resident evil 7 was so successful so my only hope my only demand from from uh village is I want the VR mode to be on PC. Oh, if they do a VR mode. Resident Evil 7 did did have, yeah, they had a VR mode, but it was locked to PSVR. I want it for for actual PC. I want rubber underpants included in the collector's (laughs) edition of this game. That's what I need in my life. I need to shit (laughs) myself on stream playing Resident Evil in VR. Are you into like those horror VR games? Have you played many of them? 
I haven't played many of them because I actually I don't play a whole lot of horror games. Like I loved Silent Hill back then, and mm. Resident Evil has always been one of my like one of the series that I loved but never got like super super into. Mm-hmm. Like I've played most of them, but I'm not like going out to play Resident Evil Six because fuck that noise. Um, uh, I have a video for you that might help you appreciate Resident Evil Six. I will I will show you <laughs> okay. that later. In in the the same vein where I mentioned like the B horror movies earlier, a, a lot of people or some people enjoy that game a oh. lot because of how silly and campy it is. Okay, but uh, I'll show I'll show See, you. I might a video. like it or if I I'll, look I'll at link it you as to camp. a camp. Yeah, I'll link you the to a video of it. I really want to watch you play the Five Nights at Freddy VR game because I don't want to fucking play it. <laughs> but I've seen someone else play it for a minute and it's terrifying. It's very claustrophobic <laughs> in how it works. Okay. We're like in a booth controlling cameras looking around, but things can attack you from outside of the booth in. They're like stalking you, but you can't move at all. There's no move. Mm-hmm. You're controlling like a monitor room. I I would love to watch you play it. Mm. I don't want to fucking play it. <laughs> That's why um, I am going to play. Uh, I need to download it, but I am going to play the workshop map, uh, which is literally PT. So the PT demo of Silent Hills. Somebody took Half Life Alex and they made, you know, kind of their version of the oh, PT. Oh God, no! Yeah. So oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna play that probably tonight. Maybe I don't know. It depends on how spooky I'm feeling. Wasn't PT, like, weirdly, incredibly deep? Like, it had hours and hours worth of stuff if you actually, like, explored yeah. it. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. and it took the internet, like, even even today, like, people with their, you know, mandatory offline PS3s with this demo, like, still on it, they are still trawling through the code and finding things in that game. And, really? and like, finding, finding different gameplay segments in that game. In, in the goddamn demo. I never um, even thought about that. I was just so after. let down that there was going to be no, like, multiplayer support for, like, Alex workshop maps. So I just immediately Ooh. dismissed it. I was like, whatever. Screw it. Didn't even think about horror games. You could probably yeah. make a lot of crazy, scary stuff in there. Well, think, of, think about... So the, the workshop is step one, right? Valve still has to release the, um, the SDK for the Source SDK, 2, which that's they what are... On, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what they are working on. It will come at some point oh, in time wait, from what is they've that really said. Confirmed? Yeah. Oh it, no. It is going to happen. Uh so we're gonna be seeing the same type of modding that happened in every other Half-Life game yeah. will happen here with Alex. That's which insane. I am extremely excited about. Cause if somebody really wanted to, it means they could create Counter Strike VR. Dude, I want to play T TF2 VR. Real bad. Dude, I mean, TF2 VR would be nuts. Well, what was the first one? What was the first? Like, it was Day of Defeat, I think, came before everything else, right? That was the uh, original um, mod? No, no, because Counter-Strike came out in 99. I want to say Day of Defeat was 2000. Oh, okay, okay. But actually, technically, Team Fortress came before all that because it was a Quake mod that Valve then hired the modders and made a mod called Team Fortress Classic out of the Gold Source engine, which was the original Half-Life. Historian. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I, I didn't know that they were planning on doing the SDK. I just thought it was yeah. like not happening, so I didn't care. That's sick. That's good to know. No, it's they it's Valve, so they don't want to say that it's happening like on X date, but they are working on it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah. Some other games announced on that. Just real quick, uh, NBA 2K21, there's Project Athea, which is a new Square Enix game. Looks like a, a third-person fantasy cool thing. Uh, we got Hitman 3. Oh, nice. Ooh. Um, because game... it is the third game in the Hitman series. Yeah, of right? course, yes, uh-huh. exactly. Okay. Um, let's see, we got Destruction All-Stars, which looks like a mix of Twisted Metal and like Fortnite? or something yeah. it's this yeah, weird right? like sportsy demo demolition derby kind of thing maybe a slight bit of rocket league influence i don't know not sure what hmm. that's going to be but that was kind of interesting that's uh, what i saw i i thought like i didn't pay attention to it i was like that's rocket league too, dude. <laughs> that's all i know what you're talking about yeah i'm stoked for that the, the meme i saw about it um was 
Mom, can we get Rocket League? No, we have Rocket League at home. And they showed oh, that logo. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Ghostwire Tokyo, which is... It was a first-person, like, kind of shooter, but it looked like you used a lot of... I don't want to say magic, but, like, Kamehameha and, <laughs> and supernatural yeah. powers and stuff in first-person. Uh, set in Tokyo had a really really cool style um it looked like they had some like japanese horror elements to it too I see like it got didn't set off this dude's car no. <laughs> uh... mm, i don't know maybe not um but no it, it looked really cool like a action first person action with some some horror influence too very cool style Ooh. i'm gonna be looking at that one for sure and yeah, there were some other stuff too. I didn't put them all on the list because it's a lot to to go through. Oh but yeah. yeah. And then they they unveiled the the look of the console, which has has gotten some pretty funny uh, memes on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pictures of Wi-Fi routers with uh, envelopes on either side. Uh, it was <laughs> my per, my personal favorite. Um, but there's two versions of the console. There's uh, the PS5, and then there's PS5 Digital Edition, which doesn't have the the disc drive in it. So does that give you anything, though? Like, why? I'm totally in agreement that a digital-only console is needed, but uh, if you have the option, why would you intentionally hurt your console like that, right? Like, Uh, you could... Price, right? They might be slightly cheaper. Yeah, like, if if it was cheaper... Then again, a DVD drive is not exactly the the high-cost element of a... Yeah. It's always been the Blu-ray one, though. Like, they're, they're, like... Yeah. So it's the Blu-ray player built in. That's yeah. like kind of one of the uh, selling points of the PlayStations to begin with. Mm-hmm. So I this don't day, know. Yeah. I don't this know day and age, Blu-ray though, Blu-ray. I think most people are watching not on Blu-ray. I mean, I'm that's obviously yeah. they still are at some, you know, to some extent, but mostly digital now. But I guess there's I'm just an option. Wondering, like, Hopefully, if it's the same price, yeah. Why? Why would you not? Yeah. Do we know if Xbox is going to do the same deal, or have they said anything about that? Because if so, I know Microsoft is just dead, dude. Yeah, Microsoft has wanted to do like an online only thing, which is what they were trying um, with the Xbox One. Actually, they were got about that. Remember that used game debacle? Rough. Yeah, and so they they had to walk it back. But and the thing I said, and I even said it on this show, is that there would be no controversy whatsoever with what they were doing if the damn thing didn't have a disk drive if it had no disk drive if it had no ability for somebody to just hand you a goddamn mm-hmm. game then there would be no controversy right they could say well it's all bought through our online system and we we can't let people borrow stuff that way okay that kind of sucks but okay we get it um yeah i, don't I, I don't know. we think that but then i remember how crazy it was the iphone didn't have a headphone jack and they had to be like, oh, all right, we should add an iPhone jack again. Like, <laughs> yeah. people are married to these these yeah. kind of older technologies, for sure. But it, for the disk drive, it freaks me out, man. I want to be able to, if there's no disk drive, I want to be able to still sell my games to my friends digitally. I don't like mm-hmm. that I don't have a way to resell or yeah. gift or whatever. Well, it's, it's actually even more important than that. So, like, the, the selling thing, sure, that's one component. But the, the bigger issue is that... My NES, my Nintendo Entertainment System, my Genesis, my Super Nintendo. I've got a pile of games back in the office. I can plug those those little bastards in and play whatever I want, whenever I want on that console. If you have a digital only console. And for some reason, like the hard drive dies because hard drives die, right? And the servers are offline. All your shit's gone, man. Like it's quite literally just a useless hunk of plastic at that point because the stuff needed to make it work, the online components, are no longer there. They don't even exist. Like, if Sony goes bankrupt and you've got a pile of discs, you can still play games. If you mm-hmm. don't, though, if it's a digital-only console and Sony goes, you know, out of business, or more likely, if Sony says, hey, here's the, the PS8, we're shutting down PS5 stuff, you're just fucked. Like, yeah. there's, there's nothing you can do. No more console, no more games, no more nothing. Plastic. So I think they have to yeah. find a way to tackle that from until I'm comfortable with it. I think, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think sure. a lot uh, of people think the same way. Yeah, I know a lot of people probably feel the same way for sure. 
uh yeah as far as i know that's all the that's all the stuff i saw from the the ps5 showcase yeah uh, i know a lot of people are excited about the controller it looks like uh looks like the dualshock 4 but some slight tweaks here or there looks nice i'll probably Different. pick one up yeah they look cool i definitely i will pick one up to try it out just for just to have yeah um i the the cool thing about the the PS5, which we already did discuss with the uh, the Unreal Engine Five tech demo, is that the uh, it's now got SSDs. Welcome, oh, hey. uh, welcome to the mid two thousands, buddy. <laughs> They're here. Don't tell uh, me. So what yeah, that's do is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna make like streaming textures and stuff off of games way way better. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. All right. What else we got? Anything else in the news? That's it. That's all the news. Fantastic. Oh, this is a bit of a long one, boys. Yeah. It's all been right. fun, though. So, there's a lot of stuff yeah. to talk about. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, we covered a lot of ground. It's good. Uh, Tom, you want to give the social media little rundown thing, and we'll, uh, we'll get on out of here. Indeed. Okay, so... Um, if you want to catch this podcast again and catch it live, stream Sniper Games, play with us, jump in the chat, talk about topics, all that stuff. Um, you know, you can find us here, 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, every Saturday. So come on by and uh, we'll be here. Um, let's see, other stuff. Join our Discord. Um, you can check us out on Twitter, a 72PC underscore official. We've got stuff on YouTube, including these podcasts youtube.com slash 72 pin connector uh also if you want rss feeds for the audio podcast or anything else like that you can find those on 72 pin connector.com uh, as well as links to everything at that website uh we're in the middle of a rebrand so you'll probably see a mix of the old logo and the new logo thank you to cowboy from uh from upper 90 for making that logo for us he's a straight up g we love him and uh God damn, this stuff looks good. So it thank you very so much, so sir. Slick. And also Absolutely. thanks it to our, our other and thanks to our other graphics designers, Jake from State Farm and Hype, for for using that yeah. logo for all of the other graphics and stuff and, and working with that. So everything's turning out awesome so far. I'm I'm really excited to get everything switched over. It looks so nice. Yeah. yeah. This looks so much better. So to get anywhere, 72pinconnector.com, you'll find the links, including a link to our swag store. If you would like jerseys, jackets, all that kind of stuff, you'll find it right there. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Magic Dave, you want to plug Join us your next week? Plug your Twitch oh, channel yeah. real quick before Part of my it. eight weeks of not being uh, an employee anymore. I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch probably five to eight hours a day. I've already done it three days in a row. We're just chilling out, variety. I'm not playing Rocket League on stream because I'm not good enough, but I'm, <laughs> we're having a good time doing other stuff. And if it's boring, then we're gonna put. I was with Smoke, and I think someone else was talking about it. I was watching the channel where like. This dude eats MREs from the 1960s. It's gross as hell. This boy grabbed a pack of cigarettes. It was like a Vietnam medieval. Or medieval. <laughs> not medieval. It was like a Vietnamese uh, pack of cigarettes. And he smokes it. It's from like, I think it was from like the 40s, this pack of cigarettes. And then he goes, you know, I don't smoke cigarettes. But if I do, they're over 45 years old. <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of stuff that we watch. Oh, my here. God. That's fantastic. It's it's just my uh my Twitch name. So yeah, you guys can find me. I'm always in the Discord as well. So, yep. so is that magic, magic underscore Dave08? It is. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice. Check him out. And I think that's all we have for you this week. So until next week, game on everybody. See ya. Bye. <laughs>